100 rated chess, but you multitask your missions, reveal at least two of the five missions below. Of course I'm not going to choose the challenge myself, we'll do it random. Very simple. Since we need to randomize stuff, import random. Our first choice is a random integer from 1 to 5, our second choice is also a random integer from 1 to 5, and then we only need to print them out. There is a small chance that the two numbers ending up being the same, but if that happens we can run the program again. There is no need to waste our time writing more codes, but before I was about to run the program, a random guy showed up and challenged me to do all of the challenges instead of choosing two. Ha! Since this guy obviously read through everything and thought that I can do all of them at once, of course I'm not going to refuse it, that entire coding section was for nothing, thank you for your time. Here we go. A massive wall of text, but the ideas are 1 on person, checkmate with pawn, avoid the center 4 squares, checkmate with less material, and perform 3 different tactics. Absolutely impossible. We get a 100 rated American. E4. My center pawns are pretty much useless in this game. G pawn let's go. Bishop C4. Bishop G7. Queen F3. Very aggressive. He is threatening checkmate in 1. We have to defend it. Ha! I thought the center pawns were useless, but at least now Edward is a little bit usable. E5. That blunders a pawn, but I cannot get into the center 4 squares. Knight h6 instead. Preparing g4, and hopefully my g pawn can bring home an on person. Queen h5. g4. Alright, two ways to get a French move, and even if this doesn't work, I can later go f5 and let my opponent do the move instead. Bishop takes e6. Free bishop. This guy is so desperate to get a scholar's checkmate, he is probably going to resign soon. f4. Aha. French move. Alright, now I only need to checkmate with a pawn while losing a bunch of materials. h4. Knight c6. Queen g5. I'm not going to trade queens, with someone trying so desperately for a scholar's mate, losing a queen may be too much for him to handle and can trigger a resignation. Rook g8. But he can take my queen though. Fine then. G takes f3. b6. How am I supposed to checkmate with pawn when my pawns aren't even pushed though? Knight e2. I'll prevent him from castling. Didn't work. That blunders a horsey, but I don't want to take more materials because the goal is to be down in materials, not destroying my opponent. Knight f5. Knight d4. That blunders a lot. But no. Take take e6. That blunders both rooks at the same time, but I can only afford to take this pawn. This guy is falling apart very fast very quickly, and just a few moves later, he resigned. It was already impossible from the start, the entire checkmating with a pawn is already a challenge on its own. Mission not accomplished. Have a great day.